Welcome back to my channel. My partner is nowhere to be found. It's me, partner. <laughs> Please stop disciplining the dog. Can we get this started? Oh boy, oh my god, you so much. Come on, we just give him a treat. Oh my god. You gotta do things in life that scratch your itch. I think it's itch or scratch. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that out. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Are you talking to me or them? <laughs> Hello, YouTube, not Jonathan. No, okay. If you'd like to say hello, you can. Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hooray! <laughs> uh, welcome back, Jono. By popular demand, huh? You're a crowd favorite. I know. Welcome to our Trader Joe's try on haul. Because we're, it's a haul when you're trying food. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to put the food on. I did not sign up for that oh my God. in my life. Anyways, so anyways, welcome to this video. So pumped to try out. You can't see, but we are looking at a plethora of yeah. snacks here. And you strategically left me in the checkout line while you picked out all this stuff, so. Yeah, so as you know, if you watched oh my, my if you watched our video trying um, popular Dunks and Starbucks orders, you know that John O, my lovely husband here, is very picky, and I don't know how this is gonna picky, go. Picky has like a negative connotation to it. Like you're picky. I'm not picky. What I, would you describe yourself? As? I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. So you're picky, honey. No. Um, I did some research, and I found just online some of the most frequently purchased Trader Joe's items. Honestly, a few of these things I saw and I had heard people talk about, so I was like, oh, we'll try that. Dobby, no, he needs to chill. <laughs> like the dog needs to chill. So maybe some of these are a little bit less popular, but you can give them a try. I think they'll be good. They're making me hungry, so I think they Okay, good so you're yeah. excited, okay. Except so for that. We will get into whatever that is soon. So we're gonna rate Every snack, we have things across the board. Sweet, savory, all that good stuff. Jonathan is really excited about the way that we're going to kick off this video, and that is with... That was a bold face lie. The TJ Shots. We all know about the TJ Shots, right? Actually, if you don't know, now you do. The consistency so, is alarming. Just Oops. stop looking, it looks delicious. Um, and I got you like a wussy shot, like you can't even complain. So a wussy? Trader Joe's has their signature like juice shots. And so Jonathan is gonna be trying the acerola juice shot. Um, Sounds like a chemical. It says 1,010% daily value of vitamin C. What does that mean? What does that mean? I, I, I don't know. I'm not a numbers guy. Uh, uh, okay. 1,010% daily vi value of vitamin C. That's what I just said. Tell us. You tell us. Now you gotta do this. You know, whatever. I tried. Okay, so that's his shot. It's like, I think it's just like, um, it has acerola cherries. Acerola. <laughs> my Sharona. And then my shot is a blend of coconut water, turmeric, and lemon juices with added black pepper. I couldn't be more excited. Shake them up good, and then we'll take it. The whole thing? Yes, the I whole thing. I can just thing. sip it. Dolly, one shot. If you don't take it with a full shot, then... Can I sniff it first? No, that's like dipping your toes in the water before you jump in. You just jump in. I just sniffed it. I actually just <laughs> I told you. Cheers. All right, let me sniff yours. That smells so good. You're crazy. Whole thing. Tastes like grass. Honestly, the best things in life taste like grass. Oh, I'm so glad you did the whole thing. You took it in like three gulps. I heard that. So, anyways, yeah, Trader Joe's worst shot. Worst aftertaste. Hmm. The aftertaste. Take a worse. sip of your little drink. Thank you. Um. So yeah, Trader Joe's puts out these shots. If you have like a juice store near you or a juicery or whatever, you can get juice shots. Usually, I know when I worked in Boston, I would always get them, and they were like insanely expensive these were 2.99 each yeah they were so cheap um and really good the turmeric one was delicious um i feel delicious. like i maybe it wasn't delicious healthy. but it was healthy 
Those are really good. Okay, so what would you rate your shot? Uh, three one. Okay. <laughs> um, I would rate mine like a nine. I mean, turmeric is never delicious, but it got the job done. So I would rate mine. Did I just give a rating? Did you just flat nine it? Yeah, nine. I'd give it a nine. Moving on. Okay, so what do you think we should begin with? The dips. The dips. Okay. The dips. So we'll start with savory and then go into sweet. Um, Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, so I don't know about you all, but when I am having a dip, I love having a corn tortilla style chip. Um, and so I was going to say Tostito, but they're not Tostitos because we're not <laughs> name brand shaming out here. Because Trader Joe's has bomb tortilla chips. Um, and I love blue corn, and you love blue corn too. Pretty solid chip. Trader Joe's has the best blue corn, so obviously got this to try our dips. So this is a plug to, to get these. They're made with quinoa and chia seeds, so they're filling and they're organic and great for you. I don't know if you knew that it was made with that, but- Quinoa don't. seeds. But it's quinoa. Oh God. Child proof. You do it, I am woman, I got it. <laughs> That was criminal the way you just opened that bag. Oh, right? Hello. If my mom's watching this, she's gonna. She's gonna have me. a heart attack. Okay, so the what? Shake it. Oh, I didn't need the demo. <laughs> this is the pico de gallo salsa at Trader Joe's in mild. We were gonna get hot, but Jonathan can't handle it. I am a wussy. But pico de gallo, everyone loves, and again, Trader Joe's. TJ's is um, notorious for having their own more affordable products and their pico de gallo. Oh my god, can you smell it like the fresh? All right. I don't know if you want to like mix it up a little bit, yeah. Okay. Oh, too much onion. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this mm -hmm. is like a mukbang. A who did this? <laughs> who? What bomb? Mukbang. Bong? Drugs? Bong? Yeah. It's like a style YouTube video when you just like eat food. Oh, maybe I could tag it as a mukbang. We'll get more views. Are you saying bong? <laughs> what do you use? A bong? I'm pretty sure that mukbang. Mukbang? No, but. <laughs> I'll show you. It's pronounced. Look at ready. Look bomb. See, I was right. Anyways, okay, so let's rate this. Wait. One more time. Yeah. You're just hungry. That would be very good in like a taco situation, maybe a burrito. Do you not like it as a dip? No. All right, let's give a rating. All right. Um, three, two, one. Eight seven. point six. So I give it a seven because I actually, as much as I love pico because it's like fresh and um, a little lighter than a salsa, I prefer a salsa. Just the taste is a little more savory to me. It's more salty. Um, so I just would always prefer a salsa over a pico de gallo. So I'm just a seven. It was good. It was salt. Yeah. Very do you like good. a salsa yeah. better or do you like that? I'm like new into the salsa game. So yeah, true. Like, You're not a good judge. Yeah. Um. Okay. So next okay. is, <laughs> so if you did not know, you're welcome in advance. Trader Joe's is a buffalo style chicken dip. And I'm nervous for you to try it because you love buffalo chicken dip. I love buff chick dip. This is not gonna you be- You got some friends that make not like, out buff chick dip. Yes, I do. But this is not like gonna be that like fattening. Well, the boss said hi. I know. So I'm nervous, but we'll get it going. We'll Should we heat it? No, you don't heat this, I don't think. Oh, microwave instructions. Let's go heat it. Okay, I heated it up. Um, so if you get the buffalo chicken dip heated up, it is preferred. Um, so we are using the blue corn chip again as a vessel for our buffalo chicken dip. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's definitely got a kick. It's definitely different. What do you think? Oh, don't tell me yet. Okay. Ooh, it's spicy. Mm hmm One more bite. Yep. Ready? Mm-hmm. 
three. Actually, I'm gonna look at the ingredients before I give my review. Oh, it's a long list, okay. You know, we don't love a long list of ingredients over here, so that might deduct some points for me, but okay, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, 7.5. Really, that's low, why so bad? It's good, it's missing those like, Chunks of chicken that you need to have in there. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not buff chick dip yeah. without the chick. That's fair. Um, I like it because the taste is really good. They have like definitely some added spices in there that you yeah, don't get. Yeah, definitely got a kick. Yeah, so I like that. I don't love that it's a long list of ingredients, a lot of preservatives, I think. It's pretty good overall. I would try it for sure. I mean, it's good. If it's out, you're going to eat it 100%. Yeah. Um, okay, next up. I'm not looking forward to this. So I did not know that Trader Joe's has an everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. Have I been living under a rock? I love their everything but the bagel seasoning. I put it on my avocado toast. I put it on literally everything in the morning. And I never knew that they had a Greek yogurt dip that you can just put on like bread. You can put on, they have like Ezekiel bread at Trader Joe's. They have like little wafer crisps if you just want to have a light snack in the afternoon. Like there's so many opportunities for this you get dip. Blue corn tortilla chips and like dip them. That's what we're gonna do it with right now because <laughs> we didn't really think ahead because that's probably not the best combination, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. Okay, So this gonna taste like an everything bagel? John, yes. So like out of the gates, this is gonna be substantially lower than like a normal human being. No, but I just like- eat everything bagels. Try it with a lens that you love everything bagels. That's crazy that you, how do you not, it's sesame seed, like you love this, it's great. I love this? Yeah. Do <laughs> Looks great. Come on, stop. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Come on, just. That's far too much. Done. Cheers, just right, cheers, try it. I'll let you go <laughs> all weekend next weekend. You swear to God. <laughs> cheers. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, it's really good. You've read golf all weekend. <laughs> oh my god! So you're being so dramatic. It's probably good for people that like that stuff. Oh my god, this is delicious. Wow, this slaps. I don't even sure. feel like I should give it a squash. Let the real experts do the talking. I actually think that's really good my only issue is that it is made with greek yogurt and it almost has a yogurty taste to it that like dominates the flavor of the everything with the bagel but honestly i would eat this again i will definitely finish this dip with like pretzels i think we need pretzels with it i think that's the problem you, or like you need pretzels <gasps> with it. or like something that is a little bit better to complement the flavors of this but honestly overall i would give this I'd give this a seven. I'd give this a straight seven. I feel like I'm not rating very high and I love Trader Joe's, so this is weird, but. Well, like, a seven is like a C minus. Yeah, and I'm a very, is it a C minus? 70%, yeah. Ooh. Well, I'd give this an eight. It, it gets Whoa. an eight. <laughs> Just, yeah, and honestly, like Trader Joe's, I don't know if they're like known for their dips, but I'm pretty happy with the dips we've tried. They're good. Yeah, they're so, Which one was your favorite dip? My favorite dip was the buff chick, for sure. As a dip, I'd have to agree, but I think the pico, if you put it on stuff, is wicked good. Like a taco or something? Yeah. Okay. Like, can we make tacos tonight? We can make tacos tonight, yeah. Nice. All right, cool. So, moving on from dips, I still don't even know what the overall score was for this one, but- We were between a set. Try it right? out, try it out. If you love everything but the bagel, you will love that dip, for sure. It's a buff chick dip. So, Next up, we are gonna try the Trader Joe's plantain chips. And so I did the whole 30. I talked about this in another video. Um, I don't recommend it at all. Unless you're having like digestion issues and you're trying to do process of elimination, then I think that it's an awesome journey for you to go on to see what foods are not great for you. But I tried whole 30 as a way to kind of cleanse and it was just not great. Um, but the reason I'm bringing that up is because when I was on whole 30, I couldn't have chips or whatever, but they allow, if you really need something savory, sweet, whatever, um, you can have this as a snack. From Trader Joe's specifically, it's like on the list, the Whole30 list, they're plant plantain chips. 
Um, and so it's in this cute little purple bag. Honestly, when I saw this in Trader Joe's and I picked it up, I just was getting like flooded memories of my whole 30 journey and it wasn't great. But let's try these chips. What am I thinking of? What is it? It's a banana. <laughs> Do bananas smell? <laughs> Just I try it. Chip. Okay. They're good, what? It tastes like nothing. Yeah. Like it's no, like, it has a taste. It's like a salty piece of cardboard. Want to try one more? Or you good to keep your score? I'm good. Okay. You know, you one piece of styrofoam. We've tried them all. <laughs> all right, three, two. One. Five, five. Eight. <laughs> You're such a low score. Well, I think they need Nutella. I think if you dip those in Nutella, they'd be fire. Yeah. We'll try that. We'll yeah. try that. Um, But yeah, they're good. Honestly, a great snack if you're super sensitive to the things that are in like potato chips, pretzels, like the gluten or whatever. Give them a try. They're honestly really good. Like even for being- They're growing on me. Yeah. They're a good snack. Still a five five, but they're growing on me. Okay, we'll roll with that. So next on the list, I was looking again online and I saw some different popcorn variations that are super popular amongst TJ fans and <laughs> like myself. And I actually didn't end up getting in the store what I saw online. It was like this Trader Joe's, it was called like crack or something. It was like a popcorn situation. But I saw that they have like a fall popcorn and it is their maple flavored popcorn. Um, it's a sea salt kettle corn type of um, popcorn. So we're gonna give it a go. We love fall over here, okay? Yep. Yeah. I already know where this is going. Oh my God, that is enough to feed an army. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh shoot. Yep. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Are you ready to score? Yep. Three, two. Wait, hold on. Three, two, one, eight, nine, eight. five. Whoa, that's up there. This is delicious to me. I'm gonna crush that whole bag. <laughs> so that popcorn is bomb. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, definitely get it in the fall season. The thing I love about Trader Joe's is that they're always rotating the brands that they carry just to promote new brands and just to have a variation of products constantly to keep the prices down also. So I don't know how much longer that will be in store. Even though it is a Trader Joe's brand, it's seasonal. So um, love that. Oh, say hey, yo. We got Dobby a snack and we're not giving it to him yet. He can't spell I yet. I know. Okay, go down, go down, go play with your toys. Where were we? Uh, we needed to try the popcorn. No, we just tried the popcorn. Next, um, super popular amongst the Google searches, <laughs> their dried mangoes. And so you can get their dried mangoes plain or with this like crazy chili sauce that people love. I was not gonna make you do that, so. So Trader Joe's has an organic, yeah, dried mango. Oh, here it is. I don't know if that's gonna focus for you, but you get the gist. I'll give you a little one in case you're scared. Uh, mangoes don't scare. Oh, wow, I did not expect it to feel like that. Feels like a baseball glove. <laughs> Let's just try it. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> Wait. Why is it stuck in my teeth? Because I'm really not enjoying it. <laughs> it's like, it's licorice almost. Uh-uh. Why is that low-key not good? You're going back for more? You want it? You, here, you try one more piece. Uh-uh, I'm good. You want me to tell you what it feels like? No, I'm not gonna say that. Yep, yeah, like seriously, do not tell me. Do you know your score? Um, not great. I mean, you went back for more, which is wild. I owe it to people. You owe it to people. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for you. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, three. Four, eight. Oh, that's high. Four, eight felt good. I, I didn't know what I was going to say. 
that and I, by the way, I love mangoes. What you can do at Trader Joe's is buy a big bag of their frozen mangoes and um, eat them as a snack frozen. It kind of makes you eat slower and it is a filling snack. Just an FYI. So I love mangoes. So I thought I was going to love these dried mangoes. But that was disgusting. It smells really bad too. You think? Yeah. Huh. And with the bag. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. I wouldn't get these. Like seriously, I would not get these. I'm so sorry if I'm insulting you and you love these. Like keep eating, keep eating it. All right, next up is Trader Joe's granola. And specifically, it is their almond butter granola. It has rolled oats, whole almonds, and almond butter. That's it. You know, again, we love a very short list of ingredients. This was like high on the list of so many different pages that came up when I was looking up popular Trader Joe's items. So um, I love it. You can see like there's full almonds in there. It's not just like little pieces. Like they didn't skimp yeah, us. Too. They didn't skimp us on the almonds, okay? <laughs> we love an almond moment. Okay. Cool, get a little cluster. Did you pre-cut this bag or did I miss you open it? No, I opened it before you got here. Can you see his little head? <laughs> um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna try. All right. Mm. I was gonna cover my mouth, but we're doing a mukbang, so listen away. I'm covering my mouth. All right, determine your score. Okay. Okay. You know your score? I feel good about it. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, eight Seven, five. point nine. Really? No. Yeah. It's perfectly average. Okay. I give it an eight nine. I think it's like one of the best granolas that I've tried. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I've never had granola with full almonds in it already. Mm. I love that it's made with almond butter because that just settles a little bit better in my belly. And it's not super sweet. Like I hate when granola is super sweet so um and i love that it has rolled oats so i could probably have a little bit and it would fill me up pretty fast so yeah you could probably put it in yogurt or just eat it get a handful in the morning if you have like a workout it's probably really good just to have a few bites to give you some energy mm -hmm. um before it's a good call yeah. definitely eat it on the golf course on the golf course so yeah try it out almond butter granola from from trader joe's tj's don't read it okay did you read it I, I did, and I'm not thrilled, but we'll try it. Ah, these are the Ooh, Trader Joe's oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies filled with yogurt cream. So again, I won't be a good judge of this. Stop. Be open-minded. I'm going to just here for fun. I am your real judge. That's probably pretty accurate. They're kind of girthy, huh? Yeah. Love that. They're like, no, thick. Um, chomp boys. Okay, I'll try first. Oh god, oh god. You froyo or it's just straight up yogurt? It doesn't taste yogurty to me. That's good. It's like a sugar cookie. Picture like a sugar cookie. If you didn't tell me this was yogurt, you yeah. wouldn't know. I don't think you'd know. It's very. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, towards the end. Yeah, it has a little bit of a aftertaste that has that yogurt bite, similar to the everything but the bagel dip. I think. Does yogurt have a bite? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm a not yogurt person. No, not when I say bite, I mean like the a bite of like the taste of what I'm referring to. So when I say like a bite of yogurt or it has like that bite at it, it means uh, like I can like tell a little bit of it. That it has yogurt in it. Uh, These cookies are really good. And they're, they're filling. Like solid. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely heavy. Not yeah. heavy. Heavy's probably not a good word. But filling. Yeah. Okay, let's give our score. Okay. Alright, three, two, one seven nine. I give it a nine. Holy smoke! Because I an can egg? see myself if I need something really nice. sweet after dinner, like just grabbing just one of these, and I would be good. Like these are definitely filling. The ingredients don't look terrible, and not super sweet. Yeah, I give it a nine. Right. It, it has a great purpose to it. When I envision how I would like incorporate great purpose it. Purpose to it. When I envision how I would incorporate it into my day to day, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, give it a nine, that's really good. Solid, you get and plenty of those. You're, again, you're a tough critic of something that's overly yogurt and I didn't think it was too crazy. Okay, we'll defer to your yogurt expertise. Okay. Um, 
Yay, so only one more, right? Oh no, two more. Two, two more. more. Um, no, so. those are the grand finale. Okay. Those are the best thing that you And I'm sure people know. Yeah, okay. So, these. And so these are the Trader Joe's Scandinavian swimmers, not to be confused by Swedish fish. Can we all put that together? We saw these in checkout, and I actually have heard of these before, but I've never tried them. And I love Swedish fish, so. You like Swedish fish too. Very solid candy. Okay. I feel like we have to both try the red one. So they have like red, yellow, and green. Yeah, that's actually an interesting point you're doing that. I'm very much so like a color. Dictates flavor for you? Yeah. Do you want to try a red one? Uh, I'm going to try more than one for sure. Okay. So. Well, red for now. Oh, and they're actually in the shape of. Oh, they're, oh, they're all different. Well, the oh, red ones are. Lobster. Red ones are lobster. All of them? No, no, no. Red ones are lobster. No, all the red ones are lobster? Yeah. And I think all the- Oh, it's a seahorse. Oh. Sperm whale. Oh my god. Scandinavian swimmers. <laughs> I mean, now it is a Swedish fish. Mm. The red one. Oh, do they taste different, the different uh -huh. colors? Mm. Mm-hmm. The they do? The colors are different flavors. Okay. This okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I think one of them that I ate was coconut. Coconut? I don't know. I think they're delicious though. They're solid. Okay. Oh, they're in the shape of lobsters, dolphins, seahorses, and rockfish. No sperm whale. How do you throw a rockfish in with those cool animals? I don't know. What is a rockfish? I don't know. Is it a rock or a fish? Both. Anyways. Okay. Let's rate these Scandinavian swimmers. Three, two, one, Eight, seven point seven. Yeah, like if I was gonna get something sweet, it's gonna be something chocolate. Like it's not gonna be something like this. However, I love Swedish fish, so I don't know. I feel like if I'm gonna like crave a Swedish fish, I'm gonna get a Swedish fish. They're they're tough to beat. But and like the ingredients in this aren't even great. So it's not like you're saving yourself by getting these. So they are really good and the red ones taste like Swedish fish for sure. But the other ones are different flavors and again, I'd rather just have Swedish fish. But still really good, good option. Really good for the price too. Like this is a lot of gummies and it was not super expensive. So, all right. Crowd favorite coming We have up. made it to the grand finale. The snack of all snacks. And you may already know about this snack. You may not but you will now and you will thank us. So, Jonathan, the only way that I got him to do this video is if I guaranteed Dunkers, okay? So basically, they are just like a chocolate chip cookie that is coated on one side in chocolate. And that sounds simple, but no one else does it like TJ's, so. <laughs> They're in the Milano family. They're, yeah, but, but these are better than Milano's, like, totally. Yeah. Mm. I mean, elite. Yeah. Pretty dang good. All right. Whenever you're ready. Score. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Ten. Ten out of ten. Easy yeah. ten. There's Simple like ten. nothing bad about them. You get so many. It's so good. If I have people over, like we always go to Trader Joe's just to get like stuff to make apps, food or whatever, and we always pick this up yeah, and have it out. Them. People love them. Dunkers are definitely my favorite item at Trader Joe's for sure. So that is it for this video. I thought we had a lot of snacks, but I feel like that went by kind of fast. I know, the table is covered. I know. Again, you all can't see our table here, but it's kind of crazy and we're gonna have snacks for the next oh year and a half at this point so uh, this is this is a great video i love yeah. to do more of these videos <laughs> yeah, but this was super fun and we go grocery shopping we always try to go to trader joe's we're very lucky that we have one right up the road um and love their products didn't love a lot of the stuff that we tried today though surprisingly but we, now we can say we tried it yeah and like some of it i would get again um but these are popular amongst the people so we wanted to give them a try let you know what we thought um and rate them and tell you why we rated them the way we did so hope that you enjoyed this and got something out of it and, oh wait we have one more snack 
Not for me, not for you. Yeah, so of course we're in the aisle and Jonathan's like, wait, we have to have Dobby try a snack. So these are chicken breast strip dog mm -hmm. treats. Um, sounds kind of gross, but... Dobby will probably like it. Dobby will love it. Oh, he's coming. I gotta cut this. He heard him. Jump up, up. up. What's that? All right, wait, give it a little taste first. Okay, okay. What do you rate it? What do you rate it? Oh, <laughs> a five! Good enough to get a paw, so... Good boy! <laughs> See you later! Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you all in the next one. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>